hi guys welcome to my videos so guys today in this video we are going to discuss how to check if you meet new zealand citizenship requirement or not before i proceed further if you have not already subscribed to my channel please go subscribe right now and i would like to clarify neither i am an immigration consultant nor i am a government official so if you take anything out of this video you do it at your own risk my intention is to show you how to navigate through a service without any legal advice all right guys so in front of you i have opened this new zealand government website and they have provided information about citizenship like there are three types per by birth descent and grant so basically people are interested in mostly in grant like how you can become a citizen right if you are not already so there are various requirements okay and uh, there is like how to apply for this thing so we'll go for that in a different video but in this we will talk about how to check if you meet or not so uh, if i open this link check if we, you meet the requirements of new zealand citizenship so this is a kind of wizard that really helps you okay before you start you need to know your parents citizenship when you were born your passport travel document number or your parents if you are a child applying with your parent okay check you meet all requirements now you check it is asking uh, was at least one of your parents born in new zealand or given citizenship by grant before you were born so if you select like based on the answers you select it's going to tell you like what is the situation so now because you selected yes for the first question that means you can register your citizenship fine now let me go through again if i select no here are you samoa city and next no i select whatever is your case are you 15 or under let's say you are an adult do you intend to live in new zealand once granted citizenship i select yes now this is very important residency do you have uh, any uh, oh no this is not residency this is about your um character requirements right do any of the following apply to you you have 100 or more demerit points on your driving license in the last 2 years that's why driving is really very important like you got to be very careful have convicted of a crime in last 3 years spent any time in prison in last 7 years had a prison sentence of more than 5 years and undischarged protection order if i select yes let's see what happens you may not meet the requirements of nutrient citizenship yeah if any of these there you may not but if i select no what happens can you speak english in everyday situation i select yes so you meet the requirement for character and language so english language requirement you meet character requirement you meet you have one last step presence requirement they have given the information you must have spent a certain amount of time in new zealand with resident status in last 5 years the result of your self check is only an in, uh, indicator you will fully assess if you apply okay check if you meet the present requ presence requirements okay so you have presence calculator so use this card if you meet how it works the calculator will search for your travel and visa information in the immigration new zealand database to check if you have been living as a new zealand resident for last 5 years and you have spent enough time in new zealand in last 5 years if you are 15 or under okay that's another i won't go but you, let's go through it if you are applying with a parent who is not yet a citizen enter the parent details if you are applying for yourself enter your own details okay if your parent who is already a new resident you automatically meet the presence requirements you don't need to you okay fine so basically i don't have any passport or travel document number that i can put in here and calculate but it's very easy right so with this you can you can check it yourself like if you see this wizard how it goes first it checks for your character language requirements and then it brings you over here now if you come back on the main page they have given all the information language uh if english is not first you must include something with your reference that proves you can speak english ielts they need okay lot of other things yeah the interview in case officer does not think your english is good enough they will tell you what you can do next wow that's presence character requirements 
traffic offenses see driving license so be very careful with these things guys now presence requirement although we could not go through because it was asking for the passport number but what is the actual requirement you have been living in so expand all if i do for last 5 years okay you have spent enough time you have to be in physical present in as a resident for a certain amount like 5 years so in last 5 years 13 50 days and at least 240 days in each 12 month period okay you intend to live there fine we have already gone through this all right so here it is guys so i hope now this is pretty clear to you and this is the official site so i, I mean i'm walking you through the calculator visa and everything on the official site so there's nothing to worry about it but yes lot of these things are just an indicator but you need to make sure it uh, of yourself before you apply and then uh, the visa officers or i should say citizenship officers are going to determine on your case thanks for watching this guys and i'll uh, keep you guys updated thanks for watching